Hey guys, it's Whitney here. I have been promising you guys that I would create a couple of retouching and skin and color tutorials. So I'm gonna start us out easy today. I just wanted to do a really, really quick one and talk about color skin tones. So I've been noticing that a lot of people struggle with this or it is a part that they could improve on. Um, and it, it part of it is understanding skin tones and knowing what they should look like and um, being able to adjust them. This is actually not my photograph. This is uh, from a good friend of mine, uh, Jim Choate. I borrowed it. He had sent this to me as a finished portrait. When I'm looking at it here, there's nothing wrong with it. It's a beautiful shot. It's actually my daughter, Lily. Um, but the first thing that I notice is that her skin looks a little orange. It's not bad. I mean, he intended for it to be a little warmer, so he had warmed it up a little bit. You can still see she's got nice blue in her eyes here. There's still pinks and greens, but her skin looks a little orange. I also know that my daughter's pretty pasty, so I expected her to be a little bit um, more white, I suppose. Uh, but there's kind of there's kind of two rules for me personally with my skin tones with people. You don't want to look orange. I always tease that they look like an Oompa Loompa if you're a Charlie and the Chocolate Factory fan. And you don't want to look green or ill or kind of that dead, dead skin. So warmer skin I would prefer. So I will tell you right now, I would prefer this more than the dead green skin, but it was still just a little bit orange for me. Um, but you kind of want to keep your eye on both of those uh, sides of it, either being a little orange or a little green. Sometimes I think the, the issue is, is people can't see it. So this was sent to me as finished. They couldn't see that it was a little orange. It looked done to them. If you go back to the before and after that I'm going to show you here, you can see that I've made it a lot cooler. So you could probably do something in between the two, these two, but you can see definitely that her skin is much more orange than what you're seeing here on the right. So here's what I would suggest. If you're having trouble with skin tones, I would bring this photo into develop you have a couple of options. It's not gonna work with this one, but I'm gonna tell you anyways. If you can't see the skin difference, go ahead in the tone and color pane and click auto. For this image, it makes it even worse, but I can definitely see that it's made it a little bit more saturated. So I'm gonna turn that back off. Sometimes auto will automatically fix it. Most of the time it's not, but it might give you enough that you can see the difference. You can see, oh, there's a bunch of orange in there I need to pull out, or it is a little gray or a little green. What I'm gonna do to this is very, very simple. All I'm gonna do is make a little adjustments to the temperature and tent sliders. I'm gonna go down with the temperature to cool it off and up with the tent just a little bit to bring a little bit more warmth back in. You can do these very slowly. Just pull them down until you think it's about where you want it. I'm gonna go right about here. So 100, 100, 110, somewhere in there. I mean, you can make small little adjustments somewhere in between is fine. This is a little bit to taste. Um, but I'm gonna go down to about 110 and then I'm gonna grab my tent slider and warm that up just a little bit here so we can pull some of the reds back in. So let's go probably about right there. And again, this is to taste. But now she still has a little bit of pink in her, in her cheeks. You can see the pink in her lips. Her skin is nice and smooth. It's got the orange taken out of it. If we go to the preview, now you can really see the orange, even though it wasn't bad if you were looking at it standalone. You look at it here, or we can do the um, before and after here, so you can kind of see the left and right. So now we've got a nice natural skin tone. Uh, I've got a couple more videos for you guys that I want to do. I want to talk a little bit about raw processing in the camera, and then I've got another skin uh, that I want to retouch, but I wanted to make this one quick and short. So this is round one, and I will see you guys shortly for round two.